So my video on Natty Force that's got shadow banned. How do I know this? Well, because when I copy paste the title of my video exactly in the search bar, the first results are not my video. It's some other videos. Technically it is on the search, however, it's buried in the search results. Now this hasn't applied to any of my other videos. Normally I wouldn't care about this, but my video on Natty Forsyth was meant to expose her for the predatory shit she was doing and how she responded to it with the worst responses ever. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so we're on an incognito tab. You haven't touched anything. You haven't touched, touched anything. We haven't gone to any sites yet. It's incognito. Nothing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to YouTube. And now, we're gonna wait for it to load. And now we're going to copy the name of the video exactly how it is. Like make an exact copy of the title. Because, you know, if we do this with any video, it should, you know, that video should be like the first result, right? If we're copy pasting the title, it should be the first result or one of the first results. Let's, you know, click search and see the, how long it takes to get to the actual video. Let's click. Alright, so we got Lance's video. We've got somebody else's video. Somebody by the name of Grimace. We have Amos's video. We have uh, Aji's video, I think. We have Grimsy's video. We have a video by Natty. We have another video by Natty. We have a video by Achito about Jalen. We have a video about Natty, or by Natty. We have a video by Flamingo, which is another Roblox YouTuber, I believe. We have a video by Achito. We have a video that has nothing to do with Roblox. We have a video by Turkey Tom. We have a video by Grimsy. We have Natty's channel. We have a video by Papa Gut about Natty. Seemingly about Lanes' video. We have a video about Natty again. Or a video by Natty. We got another one by Natty. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. We have another video by Achito. Presumably a different one. I don't know. We've got another video by Natty. We have a video about Pyrocynical. We have another video by Natty. We have another video about Lan... We have Lanza's video on Jalen. We have somebody else's video on Natty. We have a video on Flamingo. We have a video on somebody by named Ribs, who apparently is a Roblox YouTuber. I don't, I don't know. We have another video by another Roblox YouTuber. We have a open Parlo, which apparently I think is a Roblox person who got in a situation. I don't know. I don't really know about that situation. We have another video that has nothing to do with Natty. We have another video by Natty. Another one. We have... <clears throat> I'm so sick. A video by someone else about them interviewing Natty. We have another Roblox video by... Toast Roblox or something, like before. We have video by Amos about Jalen. We have video by Toast again. We have video about Pizza Tower. We have video by Natty. We have another one by Natty. We have the same Papa Gut video twice. We have another video by Natty. We have another video by about Natty by Sub-Zero. We have another Na video by Natty. We have a video about somebody talking about Ruben Sim. I'm going to add that to the playlist. Today, guys. We have another video by Natty. Another one. We have video by someone else talking about Natty. We have video about Natty getting moderated by Roblox. We have a re-upload of a video that Natty made, 
Which I wish I remembered that when I was making that that script. That would have been real helpful. We have another video by Natty. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. One. Maybe I should add this one to the playlist. I'm gonna add that one to the playlist. We have another one, another one, another, 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 another. You see, you see, it's funny because, you know, my video hasn't popped up yet. I want to remind you that I have typed the exact title of the video, copy pasted it. Word for word. From the title. And it's not coming up. We got more videos on Natty. The word by Natty. We have, ironically, one talking about Jalen. We have more videos by Natty. We have a video on Natty, with, or about Natty, that I am going to also add to the playlist. Assuming this isn't a troll. Assuming this isn't a troll. We have another video by Natty. We have more videos by Natty. We have a video by Natty on Ruben Sim. I can't imagine Ruben Sim actually likes Natty Force if I I highly doubt that. We have another video by Natty. We have more of her videos, which just Terrible. Here's another video by someone else talking about Natty. We have Natty's video. We have more videos by Natty. We have another one which features Natty. We have more Natty videos. We have my first video on Natty about Friday Night Fabin, which I don't think, which is not what I'm looking for. It's not what we searched for. Now we get more videos about Natty and by Natty, which we're just scroll past real quick. <clears throat> Hit and scroll past those. Those like to see where we get to. We got the video I was responding to. We have somebody else's channel. I don't know who that is. Probably someone who isn't related to Natty. More videos on Natty. We have videos on Natty still, or videos by Natty and about Natty. We have somebody's podcast channel. We have more stuff by and about Natty. We, you know, we're scrolling still. We get a Roblox channel and a channel who talked about Natty. We have Mr. Sen's video about Natty. We have Grimsy's video about Natty. We have the video, a video about Ruben Sim. Still going. We got a video about a Cheeto. Oh, we have a video on on Brasso. And finally, finally, after all this scrolling, we finally get to the video I made on Natty's allegations. We finally, finally got to that video. After scrolling past many of Natty's videos, and I just looked at the timestamp on OBS, it's been eight minutes. Eight minutes of scrolling, looking through other people's videos, when we copy-pasted the title word for word. See, a toast of blood to Club Deb. Sorry, blah. Can't speak today. A toast of blood to Club Dev. The Natty Forsyth allegations. A toast of blood to Club Dev. The Natty Forsyth allegations. There, this is not just YouTube being fucky. This is not YouTube being... being, like, weird. This isn't YouTube, like, being weird or having an algorithm thing or having a glitch. This is suppression of search results. This is not a case of, you know, YouTube just being weird today. Or YouTube, you know, being, like, like, weird with its content. 
or with its search or its algorithm. This isn't some weird algorithm glitch that causes... This isn't like some sort of reverse important video situation. This is suppression in search results 100%. There is no doubt about this. Because there is no way this video could get suppressed this badly in search results. In case you didn't notice, that took eight minutes to get to my video after searching for the title exactly. So, obviously, I decided to contact YouTube support via the chat button on YouTube. Now, what I'm doing is already a gamble, because YouTube have been known for taking down videos covering predators per their bullying policy, but what other choice did I have? Let's see how that went with old Victor here. Hi, this is Victor. How are you doing today? Okay, so like, I think my most recent video was Shadow Band? I pulled up the search for the title exactly, and it's not showing up in search. I'm sorry to hear that you're having issues with your video. No, fuck off. <laughs> I know that this is important for you. Let me check this out. Can you share the video URL in question, please? This should have already been a sign of Victor's incompetence, since he can't just click on my channel and see the most recent video in question. But whatever, and link him the video and tell him again. I copy-pasted the title exactly, and it doesn't show up. Then I send him an image of what essentially is what I did before in that clip. I totally understand you in this matter, and how important it is for you as a creator. Okay. For now, to better help you with this concern, I'll go ahead and check this matter further on my end. Is it okay if I place this chat on hold for a couple of minutes? Jesus fucking Christ, Victor. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Three minutes later, and Victor comes back. Thanks for patiently waiting. I'm still looking into this for you. Will it be fine if I ask for a few more minutes? Uh, okay. Thank you. You're not welcome. Four minutes later, and... Thank you for patiently waiting. I know that this is important to you as a content creator. You already said... Whatever. It is. Allow me to provide more details, as I have checked on your screenshot and it still shows the channel. That's not what I asked for. I was saying that my video wasn't popping up and not my channel. The screenshot he sent to being one where he drew a big red rectangle over my channel page popping up in the search, yet not the video I literally linked to him. As of now, I have seen that everything is working as intended. Is it crack? Is that what you smoke? You smoke crack? And before I could tell Victor what was actually wrong... Please know that the goals of YouTube's search and discovery systems are to help viewers find the videos they want to watch, and maximize long-term viewer engagement and satisfaction. Okay, fair, but that doesn't fix my problem. If I type the title word for word into the search bar, the video should be one of, if not the first result, right? That's just common sense. Like Google's search engine, search on YouTube strives to surface the most relevant results, including keyword queries. Videos are ranked based on a variety of factors, including how well the title, description, and video content matches the viewer's query. Okay, but what if I type the title exactly how it comes up? Now, obviously the casual viewer isn't going to do that. They're gonna type Carmen Rider Natty Forsyth or something like that. But if the exact title isn't bringing people to the video, then what makes you think that three keywords are gonna do the trick? Victor then goes on to talk about how it takes days for videos to appear in results, even though I've seen other creators get their videos in search minutes after their video goes up. They give me some other hints that also don't solve my issue as well, as some links for how to grow a channel. Which, again, is not what I asked for. At this point, I cut Victor off and just told him, I'm aware, but the video itself is not showing up. When I look up the title in search, the video itself should show up. Victor proceeds to suggest to search the video's ID, because clearly new viewers aren't going to search for Natty Force of Carmen Ryder. They're going to instead search for I-1-A-1-Y-H-V-0-J-0-O. See how this doesn't make any sense? Victor then tells me about how recommendations on YouTube works, which again isn't what I asked for. 
I told him that viewers aren't going to use the video ID when searching for a video and he responds as such. I completely understand you when it comes to this matter. Boss! On the other hand, that YouTube doesn't have any control over the viewer's preferences and what appears on their search engine as algorithm. And each user and subscriber will be recommended a unique package of videos based on the following factors. Victor then lists a bunch of factors that relate to recommendations, which again, don't relate to the video not showing up when searched. So I flat out told Victor the issue I had with what he said. This isn't even a matter of viewer preferences. Videos that have even less views than the ones I showed you show up in search perfectly fine. This video with 90 views shows up when I search the title exactly for it in an incognito tab. Dumbass. The screenshot is of me searching directly for my third Bit Heroes Let's Play, which only had 90 views at the time, and finding it instantly. Keep in mind that the Natty video had 400 views on it. Proving that this is not a matter of what people want to watch. If this video is showing up with no problems, then why is the same method not working for this specific video? It can't be due to low viewership. Are you concerns to your overall views, I mean your low views count? No! The video has been posted only for two days and our system takes time to process. You are literally owned by Google. You cannot tell me it takes days to process a video showing up in search. Firstly, we would like to emphasize that we have no manual control over what gets recommended on each viewer's account. I'm not asking about recommendations. I'm asking about the search function. What is so hard to understand here? Each viewer will have a customized list of recommendations based on several factors. Then he lists those factors which don't matter to me because this is not about recommendations. You stated that the video I brought to your attention wasn't showing up in search because of low viewership, or not being what viewers wanted to watch, despite me directly typing in the title of the video into the search bar. The video in question has way more views than the 90 view example I just showed you. So I have reason to believe that this is not a factor into why the video is not showing up in search. I'm not saying that it has low viewership and that is the reason it's not showing up and you're being watched. What? Can you at the very least use proper grammar here? <laughs> English motherfucker, do you speak- On the other hand, as mentioned, we don't have control over- I'm not asking about preferences, this is about search! I don't fucking know why this conversation keeps going back to how recommendations work when the problem has to do with the video being buried in search. Victor just says the same shit over again, and I remind him of what he said earlier. Then he resends me the full message from earlier and states as such. As if he's implying that I somehow took him out of context. Like, at this point it just feels like he's softly trying to argue with me instead of actually helping me with my issue. Like, I'm not asking for a lot. I'm not asking to get 1 million views or end up on the trending page. I'm just trying to make it so the video shows up in search. That's like the bare minimum. Victor then tells me that videos are ranked based on certain factors, and like that's true, but I'm pretty sure I got my video's info all together just fine. I have a title, a thumbnail, a description, and I even surpassed the 30 minute mark. Like what am I missing that would make the video so buried? Oh right, I didn't include a big red arrow or included someone with a Jake Paul haircut pointing and pogging at something. My fucking bad, I guess. I remind Victor about the issue at hand of the casual viewer searching for the video and not finding it. And Victor goes back to talking about the video ID, which I already explained isn't gonna happen. I let Victor know of this, and he gives me the it's only been two days excuse again. So I straight up just ask how long it's gonna be before the video gets listed again. And of course, Victor gives no real answer. So I reply, can you give an estimate? 
Admittedly, I should have just told him to give me an estimate, not ask. Better to erase the illusion of choice while we still can. Victor then mentions the lack of engagement is why. I tell him directly how the fuck am I supposed to get an engagement if the video isn't showing up. Victor again links the how to grow your channel stuff again as if I hadn't seen that already. At this point, I began to lose hope and just flat out said so. I apologize if you feel this way. No the fuck you don't. Stop trying to lie. So now Victor gives me a time frame. But when I press further, he gives me another basic answer of... I'm unable to provide you this info. This back and forth continues for a bit until I just give up. Clearly Victor is either lying to me or doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. So I reply as such. I am very disappointed with the service I received. I have reason to believe that you are either being dishonest or not familiarized with how to do your job. I am not asking for much by asking for this video to show up in search. Furthermore, I am aware that this site has gone out of its way to protect predatory individuals in the past and I feel as though this is another example of that. I have been screenshotting everything and I will be talking about this publicly. I'm done with this conversation. I closed the chat after that. Victor wasn't going to be able to help me there. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I can't contact Team YouTube because I don't have a Twitter and they'll just say the same shit. I can't have my fanbase help because last time I tried that, that was stomped out by an attempted murderer and a man who makes e-girls cut themselves. So I'm stuck. The video I made on Natty was meant to expose Natty for the predatory actions she committed against minors in her community. Other people have done videos on her, but none of them directly go after her responses like mine did. So yeah, I'm fucking stuck. And of course, YouTube is either incompetent or wants to protect predators again, and frankly, I feel like it's the latter. I'm pretty sure whoever was peering over Victor's head that day told him exactly that. Exactly to not help me, and just to get me to feel like this was some error on my part. Or maybe Victor was just retarded, who knows. Oh, and that part about it only applying to viewers who want to watch that sort of content? Well, Red Gear, a friend and subscriber of mine who I've collabed with multiple times, tried to look for that video himself and found it as the eighth result. So this just proves that Victor was full of shit. If my subscribers are having a hard time finding my videos, can you imagine how it would be hard for someone else to do so? Especially knowing that this is a video about warning people that a person has a history of engaging with minors in a predatory manner and of said person getting away with it partially with bullshit excuses because her young fanbase doesn't understand the implications of what she did. If my subscribers have to dig for this video, then YouTube is clearly suppressing this video, and Victor has been nothing but complicit. Why even bother censoring videos I've done on a predator now? Why not do it on my video about Silly Rally? Oh right, I know why. Because Silly Rally only has 2,040 subscribers and is inactive. But Natty Forsyth has 142,000 subscribers and is still an active channel, and obviously that lines the pockets of the corporation. I see how it is, hence why it took so long to get Cosmodor off the platform, and why Mini Lad is still up and making videos for his minor fanbase. YouTube only bans predators when it's a PR disaster for them, but when it's only the community talking about it, YouTube just lets these disgusting people roam free and punish the people who dare call them out because, you know, we're bullying them. Yeah, guys, stop bullying the child groomer. Leave the person who traumatizes minors alone. It's all so tiring. Now, as of right now, the video has been unshadow banned, and while I'm happy about that, this shouldn't have happened at all. It's almost as if YouTube saw Sensitive Society's video on Natty and went, Oh fuck, she really had a point back there. Shadow banning, frankly, shouldn't even be a thing on any social media platform because it's just shady. Pun intended. Like the idea that a site can just ban you or your content and not tell you that you're banned. That kind of ability can't possibly be used for good. But anyways, gamers, have a good night. Victor then lists 
lists a bunch of factors that relate to recommendations, which again, I don't care. Purchase Minecraft, record yep. some videos, yep. get some subscribers, yep. talk oh. to little kids, have sex what? with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about where it would end usually. <laughs>